Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Just putting the old Zeta going once again and it's so close to almost being finished, it is so close. And I kind, I'm kind of hoping that she can finish this field before we actually get to doing any ploughing near here. So I'm, I'm going to sort of do the ploughing away from this bit to start with so that she has this chance to finish the field. And I think she's most likely going to do it. It does look like it's going to happen. So we'll leave that one going and we don't need to worry about the combines today or the seed drills or the standard machinery that we got. What we're going to do is we're going to go straight on with our harvest and both the harvesters at the moment are at the ends of the field, opposite ends of the fields. And we've got this one up here, so I'll put this one going down through here. Because they have a 30 million capacity each, now I think I need to just do that so that, yes, we have the full steering capabilities. And if I go there, press H, that should be all right. Now you'll probably notice that I have the frame rate up there today in the top left hand corner of the screen and I've decided to include the frame rate on this just this episode I'm not gonna it's not gonna be like a permanent feature or anything just so that you can see where I start to experience frame rate drops and when we're um, sort of getting lag and things like that we can see what the frame rates are doing so I normally run at a, set, a steady 60 frames a second uh, most things that I'm doing my question for this week is, do you still want me to do pigs on this map? Now, we've got so many other things that we're sort of working on. Um, I'm wondering if you still want me to try to squeeze the pigs in. I mean, I can. I'm not saying that I can't do it. This is why I'm asking you. Do you want me to take the time out to um, sort of deal with the pigs as well? Because we have got two months. It's actually, it's exactly two months uh, yesterday. Two months yesterday. It's actually two months today for me, the 14th, because I'm recording this on... Actually, no, I'm recording this on a Thursday. So, yeah, it's, it's a couple of days ago. Um, but anyway, that, that, that aside, it's, it's around about two months. So we've got um, roughly eight weeks or uh, 24 episodes. Do you still want me to do pigs? I mean, we I think we've got time to do the pigs if you really want me to do them. Um, but it's, it's whether or not you still want me to uh, have a play around with pigs or just sort of concentrate on the cows, get them up um, much bigger. We've got our project that we're starting today, actually, um, for plowing up the map. Um, we're going to sort of skip between the plowing and uh, running these forage, uh, the, the foragers, uh, sugar beet harvesters. Uh, today but yeah do you still want me to do pigs on this map or wait for the next one it's your vote it's your game head into the comment section down below let us know what you want which one you want and why and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner now then let's go back to i love the speed that these things can do down across the field and i don't regret my decision not to use the really wide um header that i did modify because i've done so much with really wide headers and that and we're also going to be using a really wide plow very soon. Um, I figured it would be something quite nice to just sort of go with a standard width. I know we're going a little bit faster than um, standard, but I figured that was all right. You know, that, that's a little bit different. It's like an extra bit of flavor to it as we go along. Right. I'm going to leave those going because we did see this a lot yesterday. So um, we'll, we'll come back to these and we'll take another look at them whizzing up and down the field. In just a minute. Actually, I just want to see it go over this steep bit here as it goes what are you what are you doing oh 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 i know what this is doing it's this whole oh we're, we're gonna have some fun here aren't we yes i'm so glad i stopped to watch this bit right um if we start this one up because of the slope of the ground right here on this bit it's gonna really struggle to be able to do it and it we had this when we planted here as well and also plowing it had a, a couple of issues why is it lifting up why is it lifting up when i press h if i press h now what's it doing no it's, it's trying to turn so for some reason it's not even recognizing that there's crop in the ground at the moment with the hired help i i wonder if maybe that it's not to do with how steep the field is, but there's a little patch right here on the ground that it's not actually recognizing as proper field or something like that. That, it, it could be. Stranger things have happened in this game. Far, far stranger things have happened in this game. So, it's now, it now looks like it's gonna be all right. It's a little patch back there. So we, we'll have to watch that when we come back through. 
We'll check on it a little bit later and we'll see if it's done the same again, whether or not it's decided that it didn't like that particular little bit and it, so it's sort of turned around a little bit too early or something like that. Watch this space. Definitely a watch this space scenario that one is. This is almost to the point where it's going to be going all the way up there on the longest run across the field. But it's not quite yet. It's got a few more passes before it actually gets to that stage. Um, we want to go back now through and this one here is still filling. Almost completely full and I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with this one. Especially as it's now completely wrapped itself around that post. Completely. 100% wrapped around that post. Um, it could be interesting trying to get this one out of here. And... I'm really not sure. I'm, some of you have said you'd like to see me put a whole load of fertilizer down and then plow it up and just see what happens. Um, and I know it does seem like a frightful waste, doesn't it? It does seem like an absolutely appalling waste. Um, fun, though. It does seem like it would be fun. Right, we're not going to use these mowers anytime soon, so we're going to sell those. Let me just go into here and... I'll tell you what, I will sell the mowers and then I will get the plow hitched on and we can take a look at starting our epic plowing job. I'm also going to get rid of all of these Flegel trailers as well. I'm keeping machinery down. I am limiting the numbers of machinery that we've got on the map because it does seem to cause some issues with lag. So in order to sort of combat that, I am frequently selling all of the surplus machinery. So I'll deal with that in a minute and then we can get going with the plowing. I've sold a whole lot of machinery, including all of the minions' weights and the uh, the, the rakes that we were using, those uh, the rock ones, you know, the yellow ones. Um, a whole load of those, and anything else that I thought was sort of surplus to requirement at the moment. Um, the uh, sugar beet harvester, over there, look at the speed that they go. I never get tired of this. I am never going to get tired of this, ever, I don't think. Um, let's go through, oh, I went the wrong way, I should have flipped the other way, right. Uh, yeah, this one, oh, this one's running up alongside the edge of the map here. Uh, down the other end, this one did actually do that funny turn, it sort of stopped right in the middle, so I think there's actually, it's like looking at the edge of the field, and it's decided that that's actually, it's, it's reading an edge of the field there where there isn't actually an edge of the field. I think that's what the issue is, um, how I would cure that, I haven't got a clue, so I'm not even going to get involved with that. We will come back to it and we can see about um, maybe tidying up the little bit that was missed afterwards, if that's what we want to do. Um, otherwise, we will just leave it. Now then, this one here... Oh yeah, this one can actually take an extra extension plow, can't it? It can take a little bit more on the end, but we don't need to worry about that because I made a couple of minor modifications to this one and... If we just back up here. It's not a couple of extensions, is it? It's um, is that plow will actually take. Let me just go to the plows. It will actually take that sulphur there. So we've got this one all the way up through here, and it's the sulphur eighty three twelve plus. Now that's just a standard one. My Percy one here is the one that I've modified, and it's a little bit bigger. But you can actually take this plow here, the sulphur forty two oh four, and that one it will hitch onto the back there, onto that um. Uh, linkage bit that it's been added onto the back there so you can actually plow with that as well which is actually a pretty cool little feature I quite like that now over here we need to start doing our plowing and first of all I just need to sort of remind myself of exactly what the width of this plow is so uh, do I need to unfold it yes I do need to unfold it so there's our actual plow and if we lower it down into the ground and there we go there's the width of it. Now, it, it is a wide plough. It's a very, very wide plough. Um, and it does a magnificent job. So we need to sort of remember that that's got to face in to the inside of any way that we're ploughing. So if I lift that one up, I'm going to set it to allow create fields. Our first job is we're going to drive down alongside the cattle pasture. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap. Um, between the fence, although I'm actually thinking that we could go a little bit closer to the fence than we did up there, although it might actually it might lead to difficulties with the combining. We'll, we'll sort of have to see on that one. So what we want to do is if we just zoom in a little bit, and yeah, I think about here would be alright. I think we could cope with that. So we're going to need the GPS for this. Uh, we definitely want the GPS for this one. So if we uh, we want to rotate that 90 degrees there, and then we want to auto-set 
the width, and that is that's the actual width of the machine. Actually, if I run it this way, it will uh, just flick back through. So that's where the tractor is, and where the edge of the line is, and that uh, you can see the other red line up there. That's going to be where the outside edge of our line is that we're going to be plowing. So we want to come up through here. I think that will be okay. So we'll set that one to go. And let me just hide it a minute. Lower it down. Now it should be on allow create. Yes, it is allow create fields. So we should get some nice straight lines. And this is what I want to do. I want to be able to keep the lines as straight as possible as we work our way up through. And we've got quite a long run that we can do up here. And then almost, it's about level with where the sheds are at the moment. We It then moves over towards the edge of the map. And I don't know if we'll actually be able to run down alongside the edge of the map there. I don't think there's going to be enough room to do it. So what we're going to do is this is just going to be kind of like a, a dog's leg over the top end of the map. And then we will go down and round underneath the lower side of it. Um, because there is enough room for a bit of a strip down through there but I just don't think it's going to be big enough um, and we do want a reasonable width anywhere that we do do our plowing now this is it gonna actually fit through here I don't know yes it will just although, although the combines might actually hit those posts that, that could be a bit of a problem right now that we've come to this far what we want to do next is we want to go control and bring those up so I want to move the, I want to rotate it around 90 degrees like that. And no, I don't want it to go that way. I actually want it to go the other way. And I want the tractor to turn the other way as well. So is it going to do that? It's not going to do that, is it? That's a bit unfortunate. Maybe we can sort of adjust it around a little bit. If I keep moving it this way, that's the center. The, the green line there is the center line. And... Oh, there's the blue line all the way down there. And I don't want the blue line there. I want the blue line to be on the other side. So if can I rotate this? There's our line. No, that's all it will do. We need it to go the other way. So I'm going to have to override that. Like that. Now it's going in the right direction. So now I can bring it back. This does take a little while, especially considering the width of this thing. That is one of the reasons it does take so long. I don't think there is any way if I... No, shift doesn't do anything. Um, I think this is literally all we can do. We would just have to move it like this. I'm keeping it in straight lines. I'm not actually moving it so that... Um, if you use those, it, it changes the angle of it. I don't want to change the angle of it. I just want to slide this along. It's unusual to have something this wide. So it, normally the speed that this thing moves is not going to be a problem in the slightest. But I mean, today is a little bit of a problem for us. But we can work around it, right? I think that'll be all right there. It is kind of tight to that fence. Just move it back. That's that's literally there as far as we can move it. Um, so what I'm going to do, is I'm actually going to bring the plow round like that. It is kicking the back end of the plow up a little bit, which is unfortunate. And then I'm going to line it up. And hopefully it won't kick the back end of the plow out too much so that it messes up the corner. Nope, it's not. It's actually done quite a good job of it. It's gone out a little bit. I did try. I did turn a little bit too sharp for that. I should probably have not turned quite that sharp going through it. We're going to need to do another pass there just to finish that bit up. As well as going up alongside the field all the way up to the top. But the next bit is here. You know, I think that we might actually be able to do a pass along here. All the way down alongside the field there. If we come up this way a little bit... And we go back to this one. I want to rotate 90 degrees. And if I bring it through... Oops. There. This is going to take a little while. Just altering the corners. But I, I like the idea of having a nice straight edges all the way along. I mean, obviously, when we get to like the gorges and stuff like that, we're not going to have these straight edges. Um, I think if we bring it up a little bit further, that would be about right i would say and if you look at the red line there that's actually going to work out just fine it's going to be perfect so if i i can bring that in a little bit tighter it we may have to nurse the combine around this corner um that that could possibly happen but we can deal with that that's not going to be much of an issue it's, it's not like as far as major problems go that's not a major problem and we definitely have enough room down through here i think that we'll actually because we will go up to the other end of the field and we'll set up the exact width of it so that we can run down alongside the other direction 
For the moment, this is working well. I'm pleased with this. So we've got, we're going to have a huge strip of ploughed ground all the way down alongside the cattle pasture on this side, which means that we should be able to get it at the bottom as well. This is going to be a couple of combine widths. We, prob we may even get all four combines going up through this strip up through here. Having the cattle as an island in the middle is going to make it a little bit more difficult when we come to do the ploughing, but that I can live with. I, I really don't mind doing that. Right, now we've got to get around the next corner. So I'm going to set it up to go around the corner because that's just going to get dull watching that. We'll just very quickly, we will flick through our machines here and we will go and check on... Ah! Oh, brilliant. I like it when it does that. It goes right up alongside. It takes a partial sort of uh, width, but it, then it doesn't leave absolutely masses and masses of the crop behind going to leave a little bit there as it does this turn but generally speaking I think it's going to be okay it's also going to be very interesting to see just how much sugar beet we can dump into the water over there and by the look of it by the look of the capacity on these machines we're not going to be using the trailers we're just going to have these and we're going to tip them out as they are straight onto the ground and should fill the gorge up I mean well I don't know it it, it does depend how it works where sort of the, the angles of the um the stuff coming out of it and to where the four meter marks are um how much of it we can actually fill up but i think it's going to be pretty good let's go and take a look at the other one okay we can't actually see anything of interest there is a big patch down there i can see a big patch down there and so if i go through these machines here we go we go to this one um let's start this one up now we are quite tight to the edge when you go to turn on the headland up here we are sort of fairly tight to the to the end of the map here um but i'm thinking that we could get closer to the edge of the map and if we did get close to the edge of the map uh, it would sort of give us a little bit more space for moving around and here you can see there's definitely a line here it's, it's definitely decided that that is like the edge of the field and it's turning there for whatever reason, I mean, it might just be because it is is pretty close to the edge of the field anyway. I mean, that's like the edge of the original field is about there. So it could be something to do with the ploughing and what happened during ploughing or something like that that has caused it to do something a little bit peculiar. Um, I mean, if it has, it has. We can sort of deal with that. It doesn't really matter too much. So let's park this car back over here. And I will go and get the plough going on the next line and then we can catch up with it. We're off on to the next little bit. There's a gorge down here, so I'm going to follow the line of the gorge with the tractor. Now, previously with the gorges, what I've done is I've left a fair gap so that the machines can turn. And I'm going to go a little bit tighter than I have done previously, just to sort of see what will happen. I mean, I think really we could actually go through this one here. Um, it is, well, it's a bit steep, just there. Here, we can, def we can go through it right here. We can definitely go through here. And so we can come round this side of it. It's going to be a little bit rough in places. But I think generally speaking, we can get through it without any issues. Come back up there. I'm a little bit too close to the edge there, I think. Now, those trees. We're going to have to get rid of those trees. And I think the best way to get rid of trees is almost definitely got to be the... Um, there's a mod that I like to use. I can't remember what it's called now. Right, if I bring that round, I'm going to bring that round in a gentle curve this time. Um, the Brux Chipper. The Brux Chipper, that's the one. So I think what we'll do is we will bring the Brux Chipper over and you can't cut the trees down with that one, but you can uh, chip the trees up. So we, we might have a day of forestry in... Um, so, well, so one of the days next week we will have a day of forestry and do a whole load of chopping up of trees and stuff like that and then we can so, so we can get rid of those trees there and any other trees that might be in our way this i mean there's going to be a lot of trees so it's, it's going to be more than one day of forestry that we end up doing let me just bring that round to there and then we need to turn the corner again i'm getting the hang of this i am definitely getting the hang of being able to turn the corners and doing it neat and tidy as well so all i want to do is i want to go like that just i'm just nudging the tractor ever so slightly in the right direction and then i can move that one up i actually want to go further than that there i think would be about right and that's going to give us a little bit of room it's still going to be tight we are going to have to nurse the combines coming around the corners but uh we can't we we want to plow up as much as we possibly can of the map and in order to be able to do that we do need to run tight to the fence lines. Now, I'm running tight to 
here and I'm taking it's going to take a little while to get this outside round done but once the outside round is done doing the rest of it is going to be really really simple you know what we don't actually need that forager there so let's just get rid of that one um then we're not going to have to worry about moving it or anything like that so we go back through this way uh we're going to keep the field python I and mean, we haven't actually used it very much i think we will find a job to put that one on fairly soon so that we can use it again uh that one that one can go sell yes and did i have a header here somewhere for it i'm sure there must have been a header for it somewhere did i, I must have gone past it surely uh the combines we've got some grain trailers left and not a huge amount of grain trailers there it is, the Kemper 390 Plus. Sell that one, yes. Right, back out of there. Now we can keep going. Now, here's the question. How much of this do we plow up? How much of the cattle yard do we destroy? I'm going to stop this tractor right here, and I'm going to skip out. And we are going to go and speed up a bit. And I'm going to draw myself up tall. Walk tall, ladies and gentlemen. You should always walk tall. I think what we can do is we can just plow in a straight line down across here. It's not going to interfere with the edge of the silage clamp there. It's not going to interfere. That tree might possibly be in the way, so we can always cut that one down and move it. Um, and then we've got a nice strip all the way up through here, going all the way up past the cattle and the pigs as well and the sheep and all of it. So we can come all the way up there. I uh, don't think that we will put a island in the middle here. I've got a dolly left, and that one dolly there, I think, was the one... Well, I thought it was the one that was on the other trailers, because we've got these two trailers. Oh, no, that's the BSM dolly. So we've got another one. Oh, it's just that one there, so let's sell that one. Yes. There we go. Right, so we've got that area there and then we need to come here we can't go in between there so we'll actually have to take it out and around and we can go around that tree so that we can just ignore the tree and then we come back up to here so we need to stay out a little bit from the sheep as well because of this area here um so we'd want to work along here because we're having to sort of leave that bit and we're having to leave that bit i'm thinking that we'll leave this road and we will actually just plow alongside the edge of this road over to here and then what now this is this is the difficult question do i just turn this into an island on its own if we turn this into an island on its own i can just plow all the way around the edge ignoring this road all the way down through here i can plow all of that one up ignore all that i can actually the chickens are in these trees so i would actually i think i would come straight down to here and then plow across here uh and then from here straight in this way so we've got this island here i can leave a lot of these trees here some of these out here on the edge i will plow up and plow up these here then we come over to this bit and this is a bit that we're going to have to leave we've got no choice because there's a solid fence all the way down through so this is it's going to be like a dog's egg that is just going to be an island in the middle so all of this road we're going to plow it up that's all going to be gone we plow everything over here. This is all going to be plowed up. And this is all going to be plowed up. So what we could do is we... Well, we're going to leave that bit of road there. But I was thinking to plow up through there. So I'm going to leave that today as we're almost out of time. Get into the comment section and tell me if you think that we should plow up this bit between the cows and the sheep and the pigs. Should we um, leave this or should we plow it up and make them into separate islands so that we're plowing up every inch we can? Or should we instead bring this plow line over here, along here, along this side of the road here, then bring it up onto here so that that road there stays and it goes over to the sheep so that you've got a road that actually acts accesses uh, the cattle all the way from here and we come up to here and then we'll run all the way around the cattle there oh no i didn't actually mean to do that i want to go faster like that um and then it comes up around this side comes up to here and we run the plow line down this way and we run the plow line over to here so it stops there and we leave all the tracks in the middle connecting the animals together so um that track up through the middle and so these are all connected together without having to cross the giant field um and then this bit here i'm actually 
Oop, there's my timer going off. This house, this one's going to become an island. This one here, we will turn this one into an island. Um, but then you've got this road here. So we could either leave this road all the way up through there straight to the grain bins and access to everything up there. Um, and sort of bring the plough over in a large chunk of the yard and then sweep round and go back up that way. So it sort of leaves all of that bit as one. And then this bit here, this can be ploughed up then. This can be all, uh, well, we've got to leave the bit for the chickens. Um, but we can sort of plough this bit up. Or what we could do is we could, obviously we're going to leave all of that. Um, and I'm stuck. How do I get stuck? Uh, I'm gonna have to. Oh no! I think I got. Oh, it's because I. It's because I walked inside the shed while I'm really, really tall. Um, yeah, we could just leave this road out here, over to this main road that walk, uh, that moves up and down here, um, and have everything down below and sort of connected over by that strip that runs down the very edge of the map. Um, but it wouldn't be connected by any other strip. All of this would just be uh, uh, connected along here we'd be able to run all the way out here on an actual road all the way out to there we plow up everything down there and we plow up everything up here and it's just connected by the strip down there to get to the bottom bit so if i show you on the map what we've done is we've plowed a strip down through there go to growth we've got this here that bit's being plowed up and we're plowing up this down here this is all going to be plowed um we're not going to plow in the fields we're just going to go up to the edges of the fields so I would leave this bit. Do you want me to plough a strip between these two or leave it? And then here, do you want me to leave a road down here? Or do you want me to leave a road over here? Or do you want me to plough up both of them? Do you want me to just turn this into an island? Turn this into an island and turn this into an island? So we've got three separate islands there. And the house island over here as well. Do you, do you want me to like try to plough up literally every inch that we can? Or do you want me to kind of leave some access roads um, in and out of it all. It's, it's, you know, there's there's two options as I see it. We can either go for you know, marginally realistic where we don't plough absolutely everything and we leave access roads or we can just go for it, go full hog and um, plough up all the rest of it. So I'm not going to do any more of the ploughing today. I'm going to leave that now and then we can um, continue in our next episode, continue working our way around. I will base what I do in the next episode on your comments today about how and where you want to do this plan. Um, so it's very important today that if you want to have a say in this, if you want to have a say in just where exactly we do do our plowing in this top end of the map, you must get into the comment section today and you must give your, you must let your voice be heard. I read those comments. Even if I don't always get to reply to them, I definitely read them. I read them every day and I will see what your comment is I will see and I will weigh it up if I get only a couple of people saying make an island and then quite a lot of people are saying um, don't make an island uh, plow in such a way that we have still got roads going in and out so you can sort of retain just the teensiest fraction of realism I say as I'm sitting in a sugar beet harvester that is harvesting at 46 miles an hour I mean, that's, <laughs> that's that's pretty phenomenal, really. Um, so, yeah, get into the comments section. I'm not doing this as a vote. Um, I'm not, so it's nothing like that. So you won't be able to do it through voting. The only way you'll get your voice heard on this particular subject is if you go into the comments section and you make a comment. Um, and there's that section that we had. And that is a little bit just been left. It's very peculiar. I don't know why it's done that. But anyway, it looks like it's going to ignore it now. It's going to carry on and harvest as normal so we can um sort of let that just let it be and let it carry on see it's very odd that i think it's just like it's it's saying that there's like the edge of the field there so we'll come back and we'll deal with that later on um question for this week is do you still want me to deal with pigs or would you rather i wait and do pigs on our next major map it won't be the south american map because we're only going to be there for a few weeks while we look at sugar beet at uh, sugar beet sugar cane and uh, have play around with it and then we will move on to our next big map and if you don't want me to do pigs here pigs will be literally one of the first tasks that we do on the new map um but it's your vote it's your game pigs yes or no get into the comment section down below let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner and despite all of the issues that we had yesterday 
Um, I definitely had frame rate drops yesterday. That has stayed a solid 60 frames a second almost the whole way through. I haven't I haven't noticed any major drops. Maybe if I just let me just do a quick bit of mowing, just just really quickly before we go. Um, I will just say, if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And still, no frame rate drops. I'm caning this one around, and I'm not getting the frame rate drops. I reckon it was because of the sheer quantity of machinery. We did have a lot. I kept buying up more and more and more machinery, and I wasn't selling any. And I think that is the reason that we were getting those serious frame rate drops. So there is a lesson to you. This map will run on good um, frame rates. Uh, it would help if I press the right buttons here. Let's switch that one off right. That one can stay there. I'm going to make some more modifications to these to see if I can get them to mow a little bit better oh i dare i had a little bit of lag there but the frame rate is still reading around about oh no it went down to 50 it's when you're sort of close to the cows but because of the numbers now because we've reduced the numbers of machinery that we've got it's not so much of a problem anymore um so that seems to be the key don't overload on machines on the map that that definitely seems to be the key to success with doing this and how are we doing here? 6.8 million litres. Right, anyway, I really do have to go. So, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye. I just want to get over to the sugar beet harvesters again before I say... Oh, there we go. Goodbye. And see you later.